How are we doing there boys and girls, Mantis here, and welcome to the first video I'm going to do on New World. Yes, you may have noticed that there's been not so much focus on World of Warcraft on the last few days. The world has gone a little bit crazy for New World. Uh, I've stepped in, I've jumped in, I've had a little play around for a while. Uh, welcome to my wonderfully dashing character. That moustache is mwah, beautiful. Uh, the customization options in this game are quite funny. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the one thing that I'm good at and it's the economy and crafting and all of that sort of good stuff We have a bit of bit of a reputation for being quite good at gold making in World of Warcraft So I thought well, I'll try my hand over on new world and see how we do This is not so much going to be a bragging session about how I make gold in the game already more to give you a bit of an overview of Of course the auction house uh, <laughs> There is an auction house. It is not called the auction house in new world It is called the trading post and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an overview Of some of the ins and outs of how to get up and running with it because if you've come from a game like world of warcraft It acts in a very different fashion so this is in essence the the, the the interface that is used for trading most items in game it goes by a buy and a sell order system. This is very different than if you've played something like World of Warcraft, which is in recent time become a bit of an undercut fiesta. Uh, you're constantly cancelling your auctions and relisting them to try and keep yours first in the queue. Not so much of that in this game, which is a refreshing change, that is for sure. Uh, it goes on this buy order and sell order system. Now, this has been used in other games as well, uh, but it's, 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 a, it's a refreshing change. How does the buy order and sell order system work though? Well, it's pretty straightforward. When you have an item that you want to sell, if I say, for example, go to sell an item and I go through my bags and I say, right, I'm going to sell some of the coarse leather, I have a couple of options. I can either take the easy road and sell my coarse leather straight to somebody that said that they want to buy it for a certain price. Somebody else out there has put in what? they would consider a buy order for coarse leather. They're looking to buy coarse leather. This is how much they're willing to pay for it. This is how many that they are willing to buy and how long before that buy order expires. Now I can do one of two things when I come to post my coarse leather on the trading post. I can either say, right, yep, yeah, sure, that's a good price. I've got however many, I've got 43. I can sell them all my 43 and sell them at a 0.3 coin per item the other option i have is i could say right i'm going to place a sell order these are too cheap i don't want to sell them for this price i'm going to place a sell order and by sell order it means quite simple i'm going to put do the same as what somebody else did i'm going to offer mine onto the trading post so people can uh, choose to buy mine if they wish so whereas the current buy orders are pretty cheap there are some sell orders in place already. Some people have got them and they want to uh, they want to sell theirs. The cheapest price is currently one gold per coarse leather. Don't pay too much attention to the prices on my server. It's probably different all over the place at the moment. Uh, but the concept is the same. I can either choose to post mine at the exact same price. I can offer an undercut if I wish. Uh, there's not a huge incentive to do so. Uh, maybe just like, you know, 0.1 or something like that you can then specify how many of yours that you want to sell you can see it's capped out at 43 because that's all that we have and interestingly if you've come from world of warcraft the duration that you can post things on the trading post for is a lot lot longer you could place a sell order that lasts an entire month um, when you place this you'll see if you do such it does increase the listing fee so be cautious um in most games, the markets tend to fluctuate up and down. Uh, I wouldn't recommend posting things for this long unless you're super confident that they'll sell, but it's up to you. Um, and so as you can see, it takes away a little bit of the necessity to be sort of fighting. Uh, I termed a co uh, I often refer to playing auction house PvP in World of Warcraft as such that you're fighting to make those sales. The buy order and the sell order system makes it a little bit more simplistic. Um, the buying of stuff is also quite nice. The interface is pretty smooth and there are some cool things that I should point out to people that may not necessarily instantly notice. And it's that, that not all auction houses are the same. Not all trading posts are the same. Uh, I am currently in Winswood. The trading post in Winswood has a certain amount of items listed, but each 
trading post acts individually. This is a, a, a slightly refreshing thing to see, whereas in World of Warcraft, the auction house is just the auction house. It didn't always be the way, but it, you know, uh, pretty much nowadays, the auction house is just the auction house. It doesn't even matter if you're Horde or Alliance, your auction house is all the same one. Um, every single city has their own trading post, and you can see that they'll all have their own different prices. I've very quickly come to learn that if I'm looking to buy something, say for example you're out there, you're doing some mining, and you want to buy yourself a new pickaxe, uh, it is often very worthwhile looking at all of the settlement options that you have available to you. Uh, this will list all of the auctions everywhere, and you obviously need to then decide uh, on you know your price that you want to pay, your perks that you want to pick up. Let's say, for example, I want a mining pickaxe and I want, oh, I don't know, I want something that's going to, uh, let's let's pick something mining. Where is it? It's called Prospector something or other, isn't it? There's a good one. Where is it? Where's P? Prospector's Discipline. Gained 3 to 9.4% more mining experience. Um, let's say we want that on our mining pick. That's a good perk to have on our mining pick. We can close that down and now you can see it's limited it down. Um, I'm in Winswood. There is actually one in Winswood that I could buy without going anywhere. I'm already here. Uh, 500 coins. It has not only the perk that we requested, but another one. Uh, what has it got? It has got the, uh, the Prospector's Discipline, 5.5% mining experience, and it yields 14% more resources. Cool. But guess what? If we were to make a small trip over to Everfall... There is one with the same perks on it for literally half the price. Um, as you can see, it's worth shopping around sometimes. Not all trading posts are worth uh, are built equally. I think what we will often find going forward as well is that there will be some cities that will sell certain things at a higher or lower price. This kind of fluctuation in the economies is going to be really good for you guys out there that want to use the trading post to actually make some coin. It's not just for selling some stuff and it's it's not just for, for buying the materials you need you could quite easily buy something from one uh city take it to another city and list it up on there and maybe make a nice little profit from doing it this buy order and sell order means that you don't have to sit at the auction house or the trading post sorry i'm going to keep calling it auction house i'm sorry it's force of habit um for example, I'm going to give you, I, I never like to just do a video where I just talk about the systems. I like to give you a little bit of a tip, a little tip for you. Keep your eyes on coarse sandpaper. This is a, this is an item that currently can be bought relatively cheaply. But trust me, this is going to go up in value pretty heavily when more people start uh, leveling up their lumber, uh, their, their, their logging. They go chop down those trees. They go try and turn those trees into, into actual usable pieces of wood. Uh, they'll very quickly realize that they need a lot of coarse sandpaper. I've put out a buy order. You can see I said I wanted a thousand of them. I said I wanted to pay 0.1 coin per coarse sandpaper. And I've already been fortunate enough to buy 175. What does this mean? This means that somebody has come to the trading post with their coarse sandpaper and instead of listing it as a sell order, they have just fulfilled the order that I had already placed for it. Instant transaction, instant gratification, no mailbox, no waiting 60 minutes for the items to hit your mailbox. Uh, it's kind of quite cool. Um, I'm going to keep it uh, relatively simple for this video, boys and girls, and I'll leave it there. There are some real nuances we could talk about. Maybe I'll do an advanced guide if people liked this one. But the trading post system is a really, really good way to, to, to trade the, the, the materials that you need. You can, in theory, do everything in New World, but there's a good chance that it's sensible to specialize in something, make a bunch of coin by specializing it, and then you'll probably use that coin to help you fund your other endeavors. Uh, but I'll leave it there, boys and girls. I've been Mantheus. I hope that's helpful to you. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.